This is lesson five of An Invitation to Programming. One of the most important things about computers is that they can evaluate information and make decisions, if they get the right instructions from you. In this lesson, you will learn the instructions to use. We can have the computer look at the contents of a variable. We can tell it that if it finds a certain thing there, it should take a certain action. If it doesn't find what we're looking for, then it won't take that action. We do this with an if-then statement. Here's how an if-then works. This program asks for the answer to 2 plus 2. Line 20 asks for the input. In line 30, the words, if answer equals 4, tell the computer to look at the input stored in the variable called answer and see if it's 4. If the input is 4, the computer goes on to the rest of the line. There, the words then print correct. Tell the computer it should print the word correct on the screen. Question 1. In this program, the computer will print sorry, no credit, if you input what number? This line reads, if A does not equal 4, then print. The symbol in the middle means is not equal to. You type two keys in the upper right-hand section to make this symbol. Maybe you want the computer to make a response when the input is not a certain number. You might want to say wrong when the answer is not 14, for example. Line 40 in this program reads, if x is not equal to 14, then print wrong. When the user types in any number except 14, the computer will print the word wrong. Notice that in this program, we also have a line to print right, only when the input is 14. Suppose the input you get isn't anything you have specified in any if-then statement. In this program, for example, suppose someone types in 13 as the answer to 5 times 8. Well, the computer will not finish the if-then line it will go right on to the next line of the program as soon as it finds the wrong number in the variable. Watch now as this program is run and someone types in an input. The user didn't get the message good because the input was not 40. Question 2. Which instruction will handle mistakes in this program? String variables can be used in if-then statements. Remember to use quotation marks in let and if-then statements when using string variables. Question 3. What input makes the computer print high? Question 4. What does the computer print if you type in Alice? Now we'll learn a basic word that causes the computer to skip to another part of the program. The word is go to. Look at this program. When this program is run, the computer will do line 10. Then it will come to line 20, which says, go to line 10. So the computer will do just that. It will skip directly back to line 10 in the beginning of the program. Watch what happens when the program runs. The computer goes back to line 10 over and over. We stopped the run for you. Otherwise, it would never end. 
To stop such a program that you've written, press the break key. But don't press it while this teaching program is on. Question 5. Look at this program. What will it print? After this lesson, try writing a program to send messages to your own family. Ask for a name, and then use if-then statements to look at the string variable that's input and print an appropriate message for that person. Use your imagination, but be sure to use a dimension statement, a string input, and if-then statements. This is the end of Lesson 5 and of the teaching lessons on this demo tape. The next and last program on this tape is a demonstration which shows you some more complex programs and explains how they work.